Across the northern plains of Rolthed, or the Grolet Orc clans, they have leather-colored skin, deep red eyes, and grow obsidian black hair, often weaved into braids or left to flow in waves or curls. They build wooden or animal skin huts and place candles or incense in the branches so they appear to always be smoking. Using ground up powders and plants, they are sometimes added so various colors can be seen to be spewing from inside the hut. The orcs call the smoke boneweed and it is believed to confuse the banshees that sometimes roam the land. It makes the undead spirits high and causes them to wander away, leaving the orcs alone. It is also used to hide the souls of their dead, so they are allowed to cross over without being attacked by hostile spirits. They build bone effigies in the center of their villages they call the Bone God. He is believed to be a towering mountain of shambling bone made up of all the dead that have ever fallen in battle. He consumes the spirits of the weak, allowing only warriors to join his body of writhing bone made up of a billion limbs. Their souls become death spirits, smoky imp-like creatures who serve the bone god in his never-ending need for bone. They are sent to aid the most savage Grolic clans, drawing mana from the nether realms to perform magic on the shaman's behalf through their prayer requests, similar to how a priest receives divine magic. The death spirits can also possess the bones of a fallen warrior, animating them into zombies or hulking bone golems. In rare cases, if the bone god has further need of a fallen warrior, or has become so impressed with their skill in battle, he transforms the orc's soul into a wraith, turning them into the agents of the bone god's will and generals of his death spirits. Some death spirits inhabit little dolls woven out of bone and thread. They follow the shaman around as helpers, similar to a wizard's familiar. If a doll kills someone in battle by their own hands, they can leave their doll form and enter the body of their victim and take on the murdered body for themselves, giving them in essence a second life. Grolet orcs believe an offering of their finger bone given to the bone god effigy with an enemy's name carved on their knuckle will allow death spirits to curse that person with misery. They gnaw on the cursed soul from the nether realm, bringing terrible pain till the victim wishes for death. Only the offering of two finger bones can end the curse, often leading to many orcs with missing fingers. They war with the elves of the Silent Forest, Altoria, and Reich, each clan competing to bring back the most bones for their effigy with the greatest clans having towering mounds dedicated to the Bone God. Their goal in their madness is build a tower of bone so high it reaches the nether realm where the Bone God can climb down and feast on all the enemies of the world. For further illustration of the Bone God, please visit the Exemplary Gallery of Dark Deities or refer to the Book of Demons.